Okay, I want to show you one of the new features of this update and it's if we touch utilities, this is the main menu, touch utilities, catalog maintenance. You'll now see we have pattern catalogs, block catalogs and quilt catalogs. Um, block catalogs is a new one so we can save blocks uh, and let me show you how to do that or why you might want to do that. So I'm going to go back to the main menu, design, sew, quilt, start new, block pattern and I'm just going to enter a rectangle manually and you'll know when I touch enter here and continue we go immediately to modify block so at this point um, and you can see my that's where my needle is it IQ automatically places the top left of the block where your needle is so you may want to move that around if you've created a block for a quilt and it's not in the right place now you would move your machine over and then move the block to where you want it. Um, alternatively, if you placed your machine at that top left corner, you know, it'll place it there right away. So now we're finished. And I'm going to place a pattern in my blog. Let's get down there to Helen. Okay, let's choose this one. There's my pattern. I'm going to scale it down. Okay, now I'm finished. And now I'm going to, um, I want to put background fill or echoes around this. So I'm finished with my pattern. Add edit block. Add block. Standard block. I'm going to, and I'm going to create a pattern contour. So I'm going to create the contour of this pattern. So I'm touching that. I'm touching the pattern. There's my contour. Now it popped out at, 0.35 away because it, IQ remembers that's what I was doing before with the uh, with the echoing. So I'm going to put it back to zero. So it's really hugging the edge of that pattern. So there's my pattern contour, um, and that's a block. The contour is a block. So I'm finished here. Um, I'm finished here because I kind of like that nice little wavy pattern of that block and I think that might be a good one to save for future use so I'm not going to do anything here I'm going to touch finished I'm going to touch save quilt pattern I'm going to save a block from the quilt and you can see the block has all these little reference points so that's the block I'm going to save continue now I'm going to give it a name, oh, one, two, enter, goes into my basic catalog, select, and now IQ's got that catalog, that block in the catalog, so I can draw it up, you know, pull it up for any, any other purpose. Um, so um, that's kind of a nice new feature to have block, be able to save blocks as well as patterns and whole quilts. Um, so that's a little bit about that new feature.